Um, it turns out there is a pretty useful graphical analog to De Morgan's theorem. So De Morgan's, there's kind of two cases for De Morgan's theorem. The first one is if we have two inputs and it together and we knot those, that is equivalent to A naught or B naught. So what does that mean from um, a circuit perspective? Well, that means that if we have two inputs a and B that are anded together and then inverted, that that um, NAND gate can be replaced with um, an OR gate where we invert the inputs before they go into the gate. Okay? Um, and then the other case for De Morgan's theorem is if we have two inputs OR together and then inverted, this can be replaced with A naught and B naught. So if we have AB coming in, ORed, and then knotted, then we can replace this with A and B knotted and then anded. Um, so why would we do this? Um, the answer is that it turns out actually NANDs and NORs are um, easier and cheaper, cheaper to manufacture than um, ANDs and ORs because they require fewer transistors. And there are, um, depending on what your design constraints are, there are ways to um, implement any circuit that has an AND and OR in a NAND NAND or a NAND NOR or an OR NAND implementation. So you just get rid of all the ANDs and ORs and um, you just implement the circuit with NANDs and NORs. And I know it seems like um, a NAND and an OR is more complicated than an AND and an OR, but it turns out with, um, like I mentioned, in manufacturing the integrated circuit chips, that the NANDs and NORs are um, actually less complicated. So um, it can behoove us to learn how to make this um, graphical change. And you can either do this using De Morgan's, you can do this with the functions, or you can actually just do this on inspection too. So if you add inverters, like in your circuit, if you want to add bubbles here and there, you can effectively um, implement De Morgan's um, at the circuit diagram level. So um, let me show you a couple examples of some of these simplifications we might make. So here's example one. So suppose we are given a function f is equal to a or b c naught or b naught c d. Okay, so um, this is going to correspond to a, um, a function, a circuit that looks like this. We have four inputs, a, b, c, and d. And the first thing is I'm going to take a B, a C, I'm going to knot my C and then put that into an AND gate. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to grab a B, I'm going to grab a C, I'm going to grab a D, I'm going to knot my B and then put this into a three input AND gate. These two results I'm going to OR together along with A. So here is the diagram for, um, that corresponds to this function f. Now um, we can modify this since we have that x double prime is equal to x for any x. We can say that f is a or b c naught or b naught c d naught and naught. Now if I apply De Morgan's to um, the inside of this, it's going to change this function to a naught anded with B C naught naught anded with B naught C D naught. And then I still have this naught on the outside. And this actually is an entirely different circuit. So now I have, um, let me write this out here so you can see the pattern. Um, I have all these things are actually being NANDed and that result is being NANDed. So by applying De Morgan's one time, I end up with a NAND, NAND implementation. Um, and the way the circuit looks like is if I have my inputs again, A, B, C, D, 
um, if I were to grab a B, grab a C, and knot it, and put this into a NAND gate, and then if I grab a B, knot it, grab a C, grab a D, put this into a NAND gate, and then I'm going to grab an A knot, and I'm going to take this and my A knot, and all of these get NANDed together, and now I have my function F. And this is implemented without any ORs, just three NANDs instead. Um, this is still a two-level circuit. So now I can actually continue with this simplification. Suppose now I want to apply De Morgan's to the inside of these functions. So if I continue, um, this is going to give me A naught. Now if I distribute this naught into here, this will be B naught or C naught naught. I um, distribute this naught into here, this gives me B naught naught or C naught or D naught, and then I still have this um, naught on the outside. So this implementation is now um, an OR NAND implementation. And we arrived at this by applying De Morgan's twice from our original function. Um, now we can actually continue. If we apply De Morgan's again, now with this outer knot, we can get to an even different um, implementation of our circuit. So if I apply De Morgan's using this outer knot, this is going to be A not not. I'm going to change this and to an OR. B not or C not or B or C not or D not knotted. Okay, so this implementation is now um, I have NOR gates and that result is getting ORed. So this is a NOR OR implementation of my same circuit. And I got this from applying De Morgan's three times from my original given um, equation. So um, every time I do this, this is going to change my circuit to um, use certain gates and not others. So depending on what your design constraints are, if you are asked to, um, given an original circuit, to change it into, say, a NOR OR implementation, then you can use um, De Morgan's theorem, um, multiple steps, using these double negatives that we introduce, which, like I said, doesn't change the function, to get to the implementation that you're asked for. Um, so let me know if you have questions about that, and we can do some more examples as well.